a baby. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back with another build your own lightsaber video. Guess what? We're gonna build my own personal lightsaber. This is what I would pick if I was a Jedi. I would go with this one. So at Disneyland, these are all pieces, if you're not familiar, these are all part of a build your own lightsaber system that you can currently buy at Disney parks. So you can get them at Disneyland, Anaheim, California. Uh, in Florida, down in Orlando, you can get them at Magic Kingdom. Tomorrowland, they have a station. Uh, Disney Studios, outside of Star Tours, they have a station. Disney Springs, they're like downtown Disney-ish kind of shopping area. Uh, they have a station there. They have old Star Wars store, which is really cool. Um, Hong Kong Disneyland allegedly has them. I don't know for sure. I can't confirm. Uh, Shanghai, I don't think does. Tokyo Disneyland does. And uh, Disneyland Paris does, though I heard the pieces are a little outdated. So you might actually find some gems and some hard to find stuff they don't have anymore allegedly i don't know if someone can confirm it please leave it down in the comments below but when you go to disney parks when you go to disneyland or disney world and you go to the station it's a big huge like cool kiosk station inside of a star wars store you get to pick and build your own lightsaber with all the cool little pieces as if you were a jedi it's mainly for kids but i like it i'm you know what i like it a lot and i actually have built quite a few with my kids that's how i started doing this was my son presley uh, the first lightsaber video I ever did was with him, so hashtag thank you, Presley. Uh, either way, what they want you to do is start by picking an emitter. Now, on the side of the kiosk, there's all these different like labels showing you the different lightsabers from Jedi uh, and Sith, like Darth Vader, Maul, Luke, all the good stuff. And so you can kind of build their lightsaber if you want. If you've seen any of my videos, I've given tutorials on how to build all of them pretty much so far. Um, but today I'm building my own because you can also just customize and make whatever you want. So using the force, I'm gonna 2018 August or not August. We're I'm, we're already the middle of September. My birthday was the other day. I'm thinking August, but September 2018. I don't know where the time has gone, but this is I'm gonna do this periodically, maybe once or twice a year, kind of see what I'm feeling and make a different lightsaber and let you guys know what I would build. So taking a look at the different emitters that we've got here, we've got a bunch. I mean, we have stuff like Kanan's. We've got, you can use these for Maul, or oh, there's so many good ones. Yoda, Qui-Gon, Darth Vader, Anakin, Obi, oh my, there's so, so many. Um, the one that's calling me today, even Dooku, Dooku could be kind of cool. I'm going to say, no to Dooku, I'm going to say, I'm going to do a blue lightsaber. Um, but I'm going to do a double, this is a cross guard lightsaber, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go with a cross guard lightsaber. This, this is cool. I like this. I like this a lot. I'm... Click these yeah, you know, kind of funny. Mm -hmm. A blue hat on, as I can see on the monitor. Yeah, we're, we're going to go with blue. Blue cross guard. The next step that they want you to do is to pick an emitter. I'm sorry, an actual hilt. The hilt at Disney Parks, <laughs> currently in 2018, is all the same hilt. They're all this one hilt that looks like Qui-Gon. It looks like Qui-Gon's hilt, and that's what it looks like. Um, personally, I'm not one to mix too much on the colors... So I'm gonna stick with blue. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick a blue because the next thing they want you to do is to choose your blade, and it's cool. The emitter just goes right around the top of the blade, and you put that on top of your hilt, and it should just kind of like screw into place. Maybe what's going on here? There we go. It didn't want to sit in right. So now you get this, and you can kind of screw your hilt into place. And what it should do is notice this. It's gonna go from a normal sound. This is just what the normal lightsabers sound like. But as I get the cross guard in there, now it kind of snarls like Kylo Ren's lightsaber. It's just one of the neat little effects that they've got added to this uh, cross guard thing. So this piece alone will take the price of the lightsaber up like 12 bucks. They go from being like $25 for a normal, like regular um, emitter, regular single lightsaber. Uh, but if you add this piece, it's like eight or 12 bucks more and it goes up to being like, oh, well, that's going to be like $34.99 or something, or $35, $38. Bucks. Just for this piece alone, it's worth that much to them, which is insane. Um, it's just, it's crazy they do that. But either way, it's a cool addition. I'm glad we can actually do this. They have purple, they have green, and they have Kylo Ren's red one and also blue, as you can see here. Next up, the next step is to customize your hilt using different rings or sleeves or button covers. So I am feeling, I'm going to move these emitters off to the side. I've got blue and silver going on here. What are we going to do? I'm going to go with this piece right here. I like this, this little 
Ooh, yeah, I like the way that's looking. I like the way that's looking a lot. That's pretty good. Um, let's see here. What's next? It's kind of hard. Sometimes looking at these pieces, you're like, well, what? Not only do I have to figure, like, what's going to work out um, to look cool, but also what's going to fit. Because they don't always fit. If I keep adding too many rings or too many different things, it's not always going to fit right. Let's see, we're getting close. If I do that, that might be too much ring. In fact, let's, let's do this. Mm, uh, kind of like that, and I kind of don't. Yeah, that's not bad. I like that little button on there. Is there maybe a better ring I could pick? I know there is. I know there's another ring that I'm missing that is somewhere else. It's got to be in another set. Um, but I kind of like that. I like, I'm going to go with that. What's another kind of button cover? Do I want to go black? There's, you can get some cool looking darker colored ones. Ooh, okay. I think, I think I'm onto something. I like that. I like that. And that gives me room for another ring, which is pretty cool. Cause then I can go with this ring. All right. I'm definitely, I'm liking where this is going. This is an interesting looking kind of lightsaber. Now the real big question here is what end cap should I use? Ooh, there's a lot of cool options for end caps. I want to keep it. I'm trying to think. How am I feeling on this? How am I feeling? I like Obi-Wan's. Obi-Wan's end cap is really, really cool looking. And it's kind of neat texture to it. I wonder if that... Does that feel right? That is... That's... That's cool. I like it. But there's something about it. I feel like I need more. I need more lightsaber. You know what I'm going to do? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go double. So, if you're at Disney Parks and you're making this, and you pick this this end cap, it's got a special feature. It's a special double lightsaber end cap. So you can push this little gray button down, and it snaps off. But this is another end cap, which means what you would do is you would make a whole another lightsaber. So, I've got my blue ready to go. And I'm feeling like I'm going to do a whole nother double-sided lightsaber. We're going to do a double deluxe. That's I don't think I've done a double deluxe on video. So I'm going to go with green. I'm going to take my green. I said I don't like to mix colors, but you know what? I'm doing it. I'm doing it, all right? We're going to make this happen today. We're going to go with green. This is going to be a pretty rad one. All right. So I've, <laughs> this, is, this is setting up to be pretty good. I like this. I like this a lot. Just to kind of hide the view here, I'm going to take these other hilts down all right so now i got to decorate this one what can i come up with that'll be kind of a cool contrast to this guy hmm i think i like this stripey dark one yeah i think that'll go good with green we'll try that we'll try that out what's another cool looking do i want to do any rings i do like this black button cover i'm going a little dark on this one Maybe I can rearrange that. Maybe I can put this button up here. I can maybe add another ring. This will kind of make a match a little bit. Oh, yeah. I'm liking where this is going. That's pretty cool looking. And then I'm going to use this one. Oh, math didn't work out. Okay, maybe I have to put two rings. I'm going to go with gold then. I'm going to go double. Yeah. There you go. Now the red shows up. There's a lot of stripes going on in this one. It's kind of cool. I like that. And then I'm going to take this. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get these two to attach to each other. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let's extend them. Now, these are huge. These are really, really huge. Wow. There's a, there's a lot going on here. That is a huge, huge lightsaber. What do you guys think? You like that? I, I think that's actually pretty cool. So if you were to get this in Disney Parks, this would be about 50 bucks. That's how much this would cost. They call it a double deluxe because there's two deluxe emitters. Let's just see that happen again. Boom. Yeah, I like that. That is really cool. Now, it's so big, it doesn't even fit in the camera frame at all. I got to, like, set it off to the side. That is, that's pretty sweet, though. I think that's a really cool-looking lightsaber. Guys, what would you pick for yours? Would you do one of these? Honestly, if I had a purple, I might have gone purple. But I like the blue and green. I think that's kind of a cool look to the uh, the whole lightsaber. That's pretty rad. Now, one of the things that I did want to kind of mention is with this piece, even though they're double, like, again, I can pull them apart and use them like this. I can have, I can dual wield 
two cross card lightsabers. Like that's that's insane. That and but then you can always just clip them back in, and they snap back into place perfectly. Pretty pretty darn awesome. Whoa! Now notice how tall and big these are, right? So you think you're walking around Disney parks, and you're seeing you know there's a bunch of kids playing with their lightsabers. What they do, and it's funny, I didn't even realize that I was unpacking everything. Um, in some of the videos, I've had people comment and say, why is the lightsaber so short? Because in my demo, in the parks when I'm making them at the actual station, they have tape on the outside of the blade, and they ask that kids keep them taped until they get out of the park. Because there's strollers, there's tight walkways, and they don't want kids swinging around these giant, like, six-foot lightsabers that their parents bought them while there's strollers and babies and kids trying to get by. It's just a nuisance. So if you'll notice in some of my older videos, the lightsaber blade looks really short. It's not actually short. It's just there's tape on the end, so you can't, you know, it just looks like it's tiny. So just I hope that answers some of the questions you guys have about the Build Your Own Lightsaber videos. Guys, I want to know what you think. What do you think about my lightsaber? Do you approve? Is it Sad Baby Squad approved? Is it? Does zero to three sad babies approve of this lightsaber? Let me know down in the comments below if you don't know what Sad Baby Squad is. Again, that's those who are subscribed. So you hit that little subscribe button. You're going to tickle that bell. That way you guys get notified every time I drop a brand new video. Use the force on it. And it'll tell you, hey, you're going to get notifications. You can even choose what notifications you get. I post stuff in the community every once in a while too. So pay attention to that. Or if you want to just follow me on social, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Dano Flores. Or friend me on Facebook. That's cool too. Just find me. I'm on there. Don't worry. There's also Dano Channel on Facebook. Discord server, if you guys make your own videos that are Star Wars or toy related, go join the Discord server. You guys can share that stuff on there. Help each other out. You guys, that's it for now. Until next time. May the force be with you. Have a good Bye. forever. Now, just because today's video is over doesn't mean the fun has to stop. Be sure to click on one of these videos or playlists and keep it going. I put out new videos every week. We've got Star Wars content, lightsabers, lots of dinosaurs on the way. So make sure you're subscribed and hit that little notification bell. And if you can, share one of the vids. It's a great way to support the channel and it's much appreciated.